by quite some way. You've been super consistent. You must be really pleased with how it's gone. Yeah, good consistency, um, but mainly, yeah, good adaptation in a challenging year in a new team. Um, good uh, good performance, especially these last few races, managing to, to extract quite a bit more pace out of the car, both in quali and in the race. feel like I'm finishing the season better than where I started and uh, I'm looking forward to 2022 because uh, I think I'm driving well and and I feel uh, feel ready to whatever comes. You've talked about how you now feel really comfortable with the car, like you can jump in it and kind of not have to wait to get used to it. That must give you a load of confidence into next year with the new cars coming. Yeah, I think you can also see it, you know, in, in the Q1s where I'm always very high up in the list, like in Jedi I was, I think, P1, P2 in Q1. That shows that confidence is very high when I, when I jump in the car and I understand the car straight away. Uh, it's something that at the beginning of the year I couldn't do so often. Uh, and just that extra experience, that extra knowledge is allowing me to be faster, but it's normal, you know. I think through a year in a new team, you, you progress, you make your steps, and, and, uh, and I feel like I'm making them, and, and it's giving me a, a bit of an edge now. Just in one word, who's going to win the title, Lewis or Max? I'm not going to take a stance, because uh, I see social media so polarised and so critical between one band and the other. Is, honestly, I'm not enjoying it that much. I, I prefer to enjoy the battle on track. Um, and let the men, the, the best man win because it's it's a super exciting battle, and yeah, for the benefit of the sport and Formula One, keep it a clean, uh, good sportsmanship, and and hope that it's a great finale.